Hello, I'm Robert Bilo with the Citation Customer Support Pilot Services team. This video will provide instructions for basic operation of the Citation Performance Calculator, CPCalc, for takeoff and landing data on a Windows platform. We assume that you already have CPCalc successfully installed. However, if you need help with that, please look for our Windows CessNav basic installation video. Some of the first instructional videos that Cessna ever produced were done by Collier Burbach, who spent six years with pilot services before moving to engineering. These videos have been and continue to be distributed via the CessnaSupport.com website and via the Cessnav CD-ROMs. In an effort to make these videos more accessible, Textron Aviation is adding these four videos to the Cessna channel on YouTube. The other three videos in this Windows Cessnav tutorial set are Windows Cessnav, basic installation of all three calculators, Windows Cessnav, CL Calc, weight and balance basic operation, and Windows Cessnav, EOM, in root basic operation. Here is Collier Burbach and basic operation of the Citation Performance Calculator. Citation Performance Calculator is the CessNav program that you use to calculate takeoff and landing distances. When you first open CPCalc, notice the AFM supplement listed on the main page. In this supplement, you will find the FAA approval to use this software to calculate your takeoff and landing distance in lieu of the flight manual. When you first start CPCalc, verify the airport database is current. Now select Tools and Climb Gradient Calculator. The Climb Gradient Calculator allows you to determine all climb gradients at any condition without affecting the flight plan. Now select Tools and Options. On the General tab, you can select Use Hectopascals for Altimeter if the station you're operating at reports in hectopascals. Now select Operational Landing Factors. If you factor your landing distances as part of your operation, select this box and choose from either the 60 or the 80% effective runway length factors. The program will then automatically factor your distances based on the selections. Now select the Procedure tab. Here you can read the textual information from Section 4 of the Flight Manual including Performance General, Definitions, Configurations, and noise characteristics. Now select the standard charts button. Here you will find unit conversions as well as standard temperature calculator, airspeed altimeter and Mach meter calibration tables, stall speed calculator, power setting lookup, and a buffet onset predictor. Now select the takeoff button. First, enter your airport identifier, select your runway, and your surface condition. Be advised, wet information, like the flight manual, is advisory only. If the airport you are departing is not in the database, leave the identifier field blank and enter the takeoff elevation, field length available, magnetic heading, and gradient. Now select the ATIS obstacle page. Here enter your current airport conditions. If you need to clear an obstacle on climb out, select this box and enter the obstacle's height and distance from the runway in feet or nautical miles. Or to specify a minimum climb gradient, select this box and enter the climb gradient in feet per nautical miles or percent and your level off altitude. For this example, we will enter a 350 foot per nautical mile up to 5,000 feet. Now select the Aircraft Configuration tab. If you left CL Calc open, click this box 
and import the takeoff weight from CL Calc. Select your flap setting, anti-ice, and whether you wish to apply a banked climb reduction up to 15 degrees. Now select Calculate Takeoff Performance. An input summary will be displayed. If all is correct, click Calculate Performance. If you need to make a change, select Edit Input. When you click Calculate Performance, the program will show takeoff weight, field length, available runway, and all these speeds. The Climb Performance tab will show you single engine net climb gradients, multi-engine gross climb gradients, and single engine flight path distances. The RTB or return to base page will show you landing weight, distance, available runway, and your landing speeds. If the aircraft cannot meet the specified climb gradient, the program will suggest a weight reduction in which the climb gradient can be maintained. Now select the landing tab. Enter your airport, select a runway, and a surface condition. On the ATIS page, enter the current airport conditions. On Aircraft Configuration tab, click CL Calc and import the landing weight from CL Calc. Select Flaps, Anti-Ice, and click Calculate Landing Performance. Review the summary and click Calculate Performance. The program will display landing weight, distance, available runway, and your v-speeds. Clicking the Print All Landing button or Print All Takeoff button will give you a hard copy of this information. This concludes the module on CP Calc. Thank you, Collier. For questions regarding CessNav subscription purchase, renewal, disk replacement, annual subscription code, or login credentials for the iPad versions, please call Technical Publications at 316-517-5800 or email techpubs at customercare at txtav.com. If you are having any functional issue with the CessNav apps, please call our pilot services team at 316 517-7717 or email us at cessnav at txtav.com. We sincerely hope that this video is useful. From everyone on the Cessnav team, thanks for watching. Happy landings.